Hi all, Kraken Latte here. So in this video, I'll go over some super lazy ways to make some gold. I'm not covering certain farm spots or the best whatever of X patch, just little things you can do during your normal playtime. And these can apply to any expansion, any class, any playstyle, so they're fairly low key. So let's get into it. Tip number seven, always loot. Always loot mobs, no exceptions. Not only do gray items add up, you can find materials, rare items, BOEs, pets, and other goods. Think of each body as a loot box. You never know what's inside. Tip number six, gathering professions on alts. Put enchanting and a gathering profession on all your alts. Any character you play will come across old BOP gear that doesn't vendor for much, so disenchant it. Even old materials could be worth something. And what about all those times you found anchor weed and couldn't pick it just because you're on a neglected alt? That poor, poor anchor weed. All it wanted was to make someone happy. Tip number five, gather everything. Mine, herb, and skin, everything. I know you've stared at those herb nodes on your minimap. I know you've walked by ore vans, and I know you've been too lazy to skin those mobs you've killed. Think about the gold you passed up from every node you've ever skipped. Ooh. Don't want to level those alt professions, though? Then don't. You'll just level passively by stopping to pick those roses. Tip number four. Disenchant less than X gold BOEs. Now that you've been a good good hero and made sure to loot everything, you'll have all these BOEs. But not all of them are worth trying to sell. Items like transmog are part of the luxury market, which means they won't sell immediately. You can pick your price point. I go with 1000 gold. If a BOE is worth than 1,000 gold, I disenchant it. TSM is the add-on that can show you prices and tooltips. A link on how to use that is in the description below. Tip number three, auction house all the loot. So you've been picking every herb and disenchanting all that gear, it's time to sell it. In fact, sell everything. Cloth, BOEs, pets, old potions and food, put it up on the auction house. Anything that might have a use, sell it. Even better, Make this a daily thing. Have a special character stationed near an auction house and log into them once a day. Gather your gold and repost what's unsold. You don't have to be selling globs of the hottest item to make a little cash. Tip number two, don't vendor lockboxes. Each expansion has its own set of lockboxes. They usually contain some BOEs and a bit of gold. Don't vendor them. I used to be pretty bad about this until I made myself start mailing these to my rogue. And if you don't have a rogue, why not make one? They're pretty useful gold makers in their own ways. Tip number one, track fish. Fishing isn't just for classic. Fish of any expansion are used for professions like cooking and alchemy. Fishing pools are another type of gathering node that you don't want to skip, and it gets better. Did you know you can actually track fishing nodes like herbs and ore? The weather beaten journal teaches you this ability. First, make sure you have fishing. Then go look for pools of wreckage like this. These can appear in a large number of places, but my favorite spots are on the southern tip of Stranglethorn, along the shore of Blasted Lands, in the rivers and wetlands, and in the various lakes of Zangamarsh. When you fish in wreckage, you have a chance of getting a box that will contain this item. Once you have it, just turn on the tracking, like you would for other professions, and voila! Happy fishing! All right, those are some lazy tips to make some extra gold, or at least how to not be broke. I hope you found this useful. And that's it. Thank you everybody for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like it if you did and tell me down below if you didn't. Hit that subscribe button for more coffee-fueled content and remember, it's never too latte.